Welcome to my lecture online. Now let's take a closer look at the concept of the mean or the average. Now here with the examples we're also going to show why the average value of something doesn't always give you a good indicator and that's why we need some of these others as well. So let's take a look at the house prices of houses that were sold in 2018 in two different towns. We have town A and we have town B. Notice the house prices for town A and the house prices for town B. And notice in each case, five houses were sold in each town in 2018. So let's say that you're looking to buy a house and you wonder if you go to town A to look around or to town B and you decided that you're going to calculate the average value of the house prices in the two towns and then you're going to find the town that's the least expensive where the houses appear to be cheaper. So you would think that the houses with the smallest average price is the town that you want to go visit. So notice that in town A we have one that sold for a lot of money compared to the others. In town B they all sold for close to the same price. Now to find the average or the mean, what do we do? Well, we sum up all the values divided by the total number of, of values. Now this is the symbolism that we typically use. This symbol right here, that's the Greek letter sigma, means the sum. We're going to sum things up and in this case represents the total number of data points. In this case, there are five houses sold, so n would be equal to five. X represents each data point. So we have x1, x2, x3, x4, x5, representing the five data points, the five house prices. The subscript i is an integer that goes from one to the total number of data points, in this case, n, which would be five. So we go from one to five. And so x sub i represents each one of the data points. So x sub i represents a particular data point depending upon the value for i. For example, x sub 3 is the third data point of the set and that would be a value of $140,000. So what we can then see is that the, the numerator here simply means the sum of all the data points x sub 1, x sub 2, x sub 3, x sub 4, x sub 5 representing the five house prices n represents the total number of data points there's five data points here are the five house prices when we sum them all up there's a total sale price of the five houses combined of one and a half million dollars divided by five which then indicates that the average house price of the houses sold in 2018 in town a is three hundred thousand dollars we do the same calculation for town B. We find the mean or the average by summing up all the values divided by the total number of values there are. Here's the house prices, there's five houses sold, and here we can see that the average price is $200,000. So, based upon that, if you want to look for the town with the cheapest houses, you want to visit town B instead of town A, but that would be a mistake. Why? Because notice that the typical house price is far lower in town A compared to town B. This one house that sold for much, much more money than all the other houses in either town A or town B skewed the average value to as much as $300,000. If you exclude the $1 million house, notice that the average house price would be far less than the average house price in town B. And notice that the cheapest house price in town B was the most expensive house price in town A if we ignore that one million dollar house. So clearly you'd be more likely to find cheaper houses in town A compared to town B even though the average or the mean doesn't necessarily point to that particular case. Now and also notice that there were only five data points and when there's few data points this abnormality, this apparent abnormality or, well, it's not really an abnormality, but at least it gives you an, a wrong indicator, an incorrect indicator, if you're going to use a small data set and you're looking at just the mean, the average value of the house prices. That data, that data point alone may not give you a good picture of what's actually going on. And again, statistic is great, but you have to be careful in how you interpret the data and what went into coming up with that data point. And that's what we mean by the mean or average value of a particular data set.